few weeks ago, I was going about my regular day until I suddenly received this random call. From Australia? These two movie directors thought I looked like Mark Rober and needed my help. <sighs> Have you done any acting at all or like- I've always really wanted to kind of dive into it. Kurt, we locking this guy in? You're hired as Mark Rober. <laughs> but there's two problems. I've never acted before. And not only that. I just got sent a, a beautiful script. That's eight pages long that to memorize. And I meet them in California in less than 24 hours. And so with barely any time to practice, I was, uh, I was virtually screwed, but I had one main goal, to prove to myself and to everyone that I could become an actor. But soon enough, it was time for me to head to California to finally meet Curtis and Lucas, better known as Styx. They have over a decade of experience with acting and directing and have made many movies for Ryan Tran, Eric, and now Mark Rober, starring me somehow. I think now that we have our Mark Rober, everything's coming together. Until the morning had arrived, and it was officially time to put my acting skills to the test. Julian. Yo. Can you come in here for a sec? Gonna... Serious meeting? It's a, eh, I'm scared. <laughs> what, what aspect of this are you most scared of? Well, first, scared of laying you guys down. Is hopefully I don't let Mark and all of his family and friends and everyone else in the world like, is gonna see this down, right? I got a challenge for you. Why don't you try to be the best non-actor that we've worked with? And we've worked with a lot of non-actors. I would absolutely love to conquer that challenge. With this scene today, did you go through the script? Uh, we're gonna film this scene that was Mark's most viral video. His most viral video is the watermelon video. Oh, the watermelon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now you're about to shoot a YouTube video. Yeah. And you got Apple calling you. Once that clapboard board hits, it's showtime. What video are you making right now? I'm currently making a video about shaving a watermelon, believe it or not. Is it important as like getting a job with us, man? Like, I mean, look, this is my passion. I've been doing it for years. Talk to Curtis. You're not talking to him. To, to, like, talk to him. Does that help? I'm just bringing you back down. I'm trying to help. Okay. Yeah? Um, okay. This is the hard part of acting. Nicole, you want to get through it because you want to get back to the video, so make it quick. So you want me to have like more of like a rapid Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Trying to like get this to just scrub in. Like, let's go. Way okay. faster. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, I only make one video a month, you know? Like, I have so many cool ideas. I sound so like, oh my god. No, no, no. Listen, look, look at me. I just want you to think everything you're doing is genius. Eh. I only make one video a month, you know? Like, I have so many of these cool ideas. You're so close, bro. I want you to just push this to the next level, okay? Uh, I only make one video a month, you know? Like, I have so many of these cool ideas. Cut. Awesome, bro. Nailed it. Nobody told me that you, that you start sweating when you're acting. Oh, <laughs> and cut. This is my backyard. So we uh, snuck into Mark's backyard to recreate shots from his most viral videos such as the Glitter Bomb, Squirrel Maze, Automatic Strike, Bowling Ball, and more. And with each new shot, things are feeling more natural for me. You freaking nailed that. Keep doing that, like you'll be the best non-actor that we worked with. The difference between the beginning of the day and now is yeah. already huge. Yeah. You should be proud of yourself. I think the coolest thing about it is just like Mark Rober's changed millions of lives. It's coming from like the most modest home. This whole experience has just been crazy. <laughs> We're not even done yet, man. Dude, what? This is so wild to me. I'm like in a time machine. All right, Marks, what you're gonna do is you're gonna give this eagle a twist and you'll get access to your secret lab. <laughs> give him a light little twist. Oh. And to my surprise, we were at Crunch Labs, which is Mark Rober's secret office and huge playground to go film some action shots. But while we were filming, it finally hit me. Becoming Mark Rober and seeing his achievements all around me, right before my eyes, I don't know, was just surreal. This wasn't about me trying to prove that I could be an actor anymore. This was about honoring Mark Rober's story and legacy. When you meet Mark and he watches this film and he watches this kid wearing his clothes, doing everything he did. What are you hoping he says to you? I'm proud of you. I think something along the lines of you did a great job and you did me honor. I think emotionally that's like the greatest thing that I could do. But now, the time had come for my next acting test, acting with a real actor. This is actor Mark. He's acting as my boss from when Mark Rober was still working at Apple. But there's uh, one big problem between us, and that's Jimmy Kimmel. While working at Apple, Mark Rober got invited to go on to Jimmy Kimmel, and let's just say uh, Apple wasn't too pleased. I just got back from a meeting with the senior VP about you doing Jimmy Kimmel next yeah, week. Yeah, I won't let you I'm working at Apple. We, we just think we need to focus on making great products. Right. Oh, K 
Can you mention to the VP? Uh, oh, can you mention to the VP? Can you mention to the VP? Oh, no. That's good. Oh! Can mention to the VP and ask him if I'm going to. How could I not nail such a simple line? And even worse, why am I wasting everyone's time? But the crew kept giving me encouragement, believing that soon enough, I would nail it. Oh, can you ask the VP if I'm all good for kayaking this Sunday? Keep rolling. It's close, but you went snarky enough, like you didn't get under your skin. I got it. I got it. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. So rolling. And action. Hey. Can you ask the VP if I'm all good for kayaking this Sunday? God, that was it. Okay, so, uh... How you doing? Intense? <sighs> that, that one sucked. I was getting mad at myself at the end because I was like, why can't I get it? It's not yeah. even that many words. It gets harder when you get hard on yourself. Not saying I can magically be good at this, like, right off the bat, mm. but... I'm so gonna try to be right, so yeah. I don't know. You want your acting to be right, we want the film to be great, um, so we want you to be great. I mean, I told you guys, I want to be the best non-actor actor that you guys ever cast. You cheeky little buggers. <laughs> but, uh, Just keep that fun attitude and you got it right. Yeah. I, I will do. All right. <laughs> For the final day of filming, we first had to film some scenes of Mark's childhood with some kid actors. One of the actors was actually Mark's real oh nephew. Heart. What? That is crazy. But while I was helping, I don't know, I was still mad at myself from the night before. I knew I could have acted better, and I wanted to redeem myself. And I would have the opportunity to do so with the most intense scene of the entire movie. My mom, who's since passed, she passed away from LA, uh, ALS like a decade ago, but she passed away like six months before I ever released my first YouTube video, which I think is actually kind of cool because now I'm reaching a lot of people with this message of like engineering and science and these things. She had no idea when she passed away that that was like a big part of her legacy. Rolling, rolling. Close up, mommy bed, take one. And action. But after that shot, the actress portraying Mark's mom suddenly had to leave for the airport, which I had no clue was going to happen. So us acting was just the first part. Talk to me, brother. I have a bit of a challenge for you, an acting challenge. So you just pulled off like one of the most hardest scenes and you did great. Now we're going to get a close up, which is even more intense. It's still a powerful scene, but this time you don't have the other actor to bounce off. <sighs> it's going to be tough. Whenever I watch uh, deep like movies or TV shows, like deep moments like this, I always think to myself, like, can I actually do this? So here we are. We're about to find out. Uh, we're about to find out. Let's up, bed shot. Mark, take one. Take your time. Just be ready. Oh, well, pause. I'm focusing, but I need to focus a little bit more on that, like, yeah. soft point. <laughs> Let yourself go there, like, just... Let's do it. I, I've never seen, I could, I've never been able to do something like that. What an insane performance, man. Like, <laughs> had... What happened there? I thought about a couple of things, but... You know how I said when Mark, um, I obviously didn't want to let him know. Mm. I thought about, um, God and Jesus and... Not like him, no. <laughs> you know, things as recent and just God and like my faith has kind of changed my life for the better. Mm. I think we can safely say that that wasn't just the best performance of a non-actor we've ever worked with, but that's the best performance with probably anyone I've ever worked with. Stop. No, it's serious. Oh.
No. <laughs> that is that is I'm not I'm not believing that. There's no way. You're gonna have to wait for the premiere until you believe it yourself. Yeah. This was it. Filming was finally complete. Curtis and Lucas had the movie ready, and somehow Lucas and Curtis were able to trick Mark into coming to the movie theater with him having no idea the surprise that awaited him. But I had my own surprise for Mark, so I had to hide until the time was right. What in the world is this? This is me. That's no, not you. that's not you. What? <laughs> who is that? Dude, that is crazy. Is the guy who believed me here? I can't believe this. And as they made their way to watch the movie, it was now time for me to surprise Mark. I knew I couldn't change anything now, but the big question still remained. Did I make Mark proud? Three, two, <laughs> one. one video a month, you know? I have so many of these cool ideas. Can you ask if you'd be good for Kyle, can you say? I can't believe that wasn't me. I saw that on the poster. Wow. That was amazing. Not only did you make my life look cooler, but you found like a better looking version of me. Just like. We have a little surprise for you. What? You! Hey, I almost wore that sweatshirt today. Yeah. How are we doing? Up? Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. I hope you loved it. It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> A better looking mirror. I can't believe you never acted before. Never acted in my life. Really? Mm hmm And after chatting for a bit, it was finally time to ask Mark the question. I wanted to ask you one last question. Yeah. I wanted to do you and your story, like honor and justice. So in your eyes, did I do that? Um... To prove to myself and to everyone that I could become an Something actor. along the lines of, you did a great job and you did the honor. Oh my god. You freaking nailed that. This whole experience has been crazy. <laughs> We're not even done yet. Oh, oh, we don't need to be great. God, Jesus, not like him, no. Yeah, you did a great job, man. Really good job. Really well done. Thanks, man. Nice it, it was an honor. Yeah. It was so awesome. The Taylor Lautner version of me. I love it. <laughs> you know, you could have gotten different angles, but I like that one. But that's not all. Mark Rober had more very interesting things to say about me in the movie, which you could check out right here.